Hey, what's up? Alec Paventa here, and we are back with another video. And today I'm super excited because I just got this new laptop in, and I've been waiting a while for this. It's probably about a month or two since I ordered it. And it finally came in today, and I want to talk a little bit about it. So in this box is the brand new Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, and this thing is like an absolute beast of a laptop. So now you're probably wondering why another editing computer for me when I have this quad display liquid-cooled PC behind me right now. And the reason for that is because as amazing as this thing is, it's limited in the sense that I can't take it anywhere. I'm stuck in here editing right here and only here. So I got this new laptop to increase productivity and edit while I travel. For example, I recently went on a trip to Florida to shoot a video and I couldn't edit that entire video until I got back here so that I can hop on this computer and edit right on this. Where with the new laptop, I can now edit wherever I am and get that video out a lot quicker than I would if I had to wait to be here. I also enjoy the outdoors a lot. So being stuck inside a studio editing is sometimes hard for me because I want to be outside on a beautiful day. So this also gives me the freedom to go out and hang out on the boat or wherever and just enjoy the outdoors while editing at the same time. I also bought this little guy right here and this is a Samsung T5 SSD and the reason I bought this was so that I can put all my my presets, lots, all my editing stuff that I would need in current projects on this and it makes it more seamless when I want to transfer from this to the laptop and back and forth with the same project and just edit back and forth. Alright, so I went ahead and moved the box over to the, my workbench here uh, just so we have a little more space to unbox this thing because this is a massive box, barely even fits on my workbench. Biggest box I've ever seen for a laptop. Uh, it's only a 15 inch laptop, but when we open it up, I think we can see why it came in a massive box like this. First thing I see, looks like it comes with a backpack. I don't know if everyone comes with it or if it's just because I pre-ordered it, but it's pretty cool. It came with a, that Asus even included this. Um, it's actually labeled with Asus on it. It's got the brand on it, so that's cool. Um, maybe they just send this as like their laptop case. I don't know, but I like it. This is awesome. Did not expect this. Um, I'm glad they gave us this. This seems pretty, pretty nice. The next thing we got is what looks like a little, um, like a little stand to put underneath the laptop and kind of prop it up on an angle, which is also nice. And we get to unwrapping this bad boy. Pretty hefty. So uh, let's see. Gotta have a razor blade on this workbench somewhere. Yeah. yeah, there's a nice rusty one. Okay, so as I open it up, that is a fancy boxing right there. As I open this up, the laptop pops up so that you can grab it. That's pretty cool. So in here, this is pretty cool. They got um, a little stylus that you can that you can use on the touch screen. I'm sure this is just like manuals and shit. Not that interesting. So if any of you guys know like about like like real gaming keyboards and like any real PC keyboard, they always have like a little wrist pad. This laptop has this little pad that clicks into the front of it so that you can rest your, your palms on the pad while typing. So far I'm loving the way they package this though. I'm, I'm a big fan of fancy packaging for some reason. I don't know why, but I just appreciate it. And they did a really good job on packaging this thing. So yeah, that's your fat power brick. <laughs> but uh, heavy duty computer needs heavy duty power. I just want to apologize for the mess over here. That's because I was just working on one of my drones and I just wanted to shoot this video quick. So I didn't really take the time to clean up the bench perfectly, but, um, so just don't mind that, but let's get the plastic off this thing. First, let's see what that says. OLED, ergonomic screen pad. This thing's got an RTX 3070, which is insane. Yeah, so they got like the dual fan because of the cooling. Um, they got the high performance CPU, which is, I believe it's an i9. I'm not sure exactly what model, but we'll get the full detail in the specs a little later. Wi-Fi 6, so they got the ultra-fast Wi-Fi control panel for creators, which was a cool thing. 
So that's, that's basically saying all the features that the little display has is designed for creators like me or you who, or if you're watching this, you're probably a creator too, or, or in design or photographer or video, any kind of creator. And that's what they really targeted with this laptop. So that's just saying that they have a lot of features for that. They got the Silas and two Thunderbolt 3 USB-Cs. Here we go. So as soon as you open the laptop, the first thing you notice is this isn't your common laptop. This is a very unusual laptop and it has dual screen, so there's nothing out there like it. Now, if you're comparing it to other laptops, it is a heavy laptop, but for what's inside, it definitely is kind of light. It comes with a 240 watt fast charger, which is nice. So as you open it, it's got this fancy hinge system that raises the display to give you a much better viewing angle. And at the same time, it's also lifting the laptop off whatever surface you have it on to create a little more of an angle and provide a little more airflow underneath to cool it. So the speakers are also hidden underneath the screen pad. Now because of the display, the keyboard was moved forward and the, tr and the trackpad was moved to the right. Uh, the trackpad's a little weird to get used to, but once you're used to it, you actually forget that it's even different than any other laptop. On the right side, you have a USB-A and two Thunderbolt 4 slash USB-C ports. On the other side, you have your charging port, you have a full HDMI to connect a monitor to, and you also have your headphone jack. The finish on the main display is pretty glossy, and on the, on the screen pad, it's a matte finish to cut down glare because that's facing upward, so you're going to have a lot of light facing on it. The main display is a 15-inch 4K OLED panel, and the bottom display is a 1080p LED screen. Inside it has an Intel i9 10980HK. It has an RTX 3070, 32 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. Now I could drag any window down to the secondary display because it is basically a full on secondary display. So I could drag anything down there I want, uh, set it up however I want. You can put three windows across, two across, one all the way across, to anything you want to do. It also has a couple cool features for uh, editing productivity, which is what I really like because you know me, I'm always in edit, video editing or photo editing, so it's got a cool stuff like that. On the left side here, I can turn this little dial to kind of scroll through my timeline. The right side, I can zoom in, and there's a couple little shortcut buttons there. Um, right now, it's not really super customizable because I think they're still developing it. Um, as time goes on, I'm sure they'll update that, but it is a super handy feature, and, and I'm already loving it. I wish I had something like that for this thing. The audio definitely sounds pretty great for a laptop. Um, I mean, it is a laptop, so it's not the best in the world, but uh, it's definitely deeper than a lot of other laptops would be because those, because it's got big speakers hidden underneath that display, and I think it kind of like echoes through there or something, and it definitely sounds better than most laptops, though. So this thing's really cool. It's a really high-end package, and it's definitely one of a kind. But that's it for this quick look of the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo. So if you're interested in purchasing one, I'll put a link down below, and I'll also put a link to the smaller 14-inch model. It's a little cheaper, and uh, if you don't need something as crazy of a laptop as this one is, you can get that one too. Both links will be down below in the description for you guys. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.